How do you feel about my bullet bra? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Bras! They've been torturing women since the dawn of time. But have they always been as uncomfortable as they are now? We decided to try some vintage and ultra vintage bras. To see what it was like to walk a mile in our Ann sister's boobs. It's ladylike and this week we're trying historic bras. <laughs> So we are gonna be trying some historic bras. We wanted to focus on things that just supported the boobular area, unlike things that sort of shaped the whole body, like the corset. Also, the word bra wasn't really coined until the early 20th century, so these were just more like boob support. Yeah, I mean, one of them is a bra, and like one of them is definitely just like a thing you wrap around your chest so that the wild animals won't get to you. <laughs> we cannot alter or change any of these bras. Nope. We are gonna be wearing them true to history. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be trying three bras from history. The first bra we're gonna try is gonna be one from ancient Greece and Rome. It's called the Strophion. They're pieces of linen that we're gonna wrap artfully around our midsections yeah. and you know, hope for the best. Yeah, it's kind of like a breast band. I don't know how supportive it's gonna be. There aren't really straps. It's basically just sort of like knots. Seat belts. The second bra we're gonna try is actually the first bra that was ever patented in the United States. This bra is from 1914. The woman who patented this bra, she wanted it to be thinner and much more free than the traditional corset. It's very easy breezy. Yeah. Debatable if 90s kerchief tops were halter or not, but this is not halter. This yeah. is just like two straps. It's kind of like an apron yeah, too. It's it like reminds me of an apron. <laughs> yeah. It's a bib for people who can't be trusted to keep their bib on. So the third bra is going to be the bullet bra or the torpedo bra, and that was popularized in the 40s and 50s. It's like you have a compass attached to you, so wherever you're pointing, it's like that's the direction you're going in. Yep. So like these bras were really popular with film stars in the 40s and 50s. They would wear sweaters over them so you could see like their unnaturally cone-shaped boobs. It's dramatically not the shape of a normal boob. It's just very pointy. We did hear through the grapevine that many of them may have stuffed the remaining space from between their boob and the cone. So we're gonna do that. I don't know how supportive it's gonna be. I think I'm the most nervous about the bullet bra. Just how it's gonna look. Like I'm nervous about the way it's gonna look in my clothes. I'm so excited for this though. <laughs> You're gonna be like, hello. Notice anything different about me? You're gonna catch a lot more crumbs. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I will. Okay, cool. So should we try them on? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's try it on. It's time to try on the Greco-Roman bra. How are you doing, Fred? Are you ready? I'm ready. I don't think I can do this on my own. <laughs> I need your help, Fred. All right, coming. Okay. What are you? It's just long. You Okay, all right, I'll help you. <laughs> How many feet is this thing? I don't know, too many feet. <laughs> I think we both hoped that maybe this would work on our own, but I think it's very clear that it requires four hands. Yep. Four Are there multiple seams? seams. Damn it. God damn it. <laughs> nope, that's wrong. Literally, how did anyone do this alone? Oh, what? They didn't. Who was on bra duty yes. today in the village? Hold on, Sally. Okay, oh, okay, okay, nope, nope, too tight. <laughs> too, ow. If you fuck up one layer of this, the whole, the whole thing is, the yeah. whole Jenga tower comes down. The front looks great. Yeah, the front looks great. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We did it. We did it. How does it feel? It feels good, actually. How long did that take us? A long time. I did a not terrible job. Yeah, I'm packed in. I'm the Pac-10 conference. I mean, there's definitely... <laughs> I don't know how good boobs look like this, but they're definitely not... Oh yeah, they're, they're there to stay. They're, they're not, not going, going far. I feel like this is an outfit where I just like go on a date, mm -hmm. listen to some jazz, drink some red wine. Yeah, like the Greco-Romans did. I'm curious just to see what it would look like under a shirt. Because it, it is so bulky. Yeah. It's time for the 1914 bra. Tying the straps in the back. All right. Yeah, this one is much simpler. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm already halfway done. Does it tie into a bow? I tied mine into a bow. Yeah, it might be kind of see-through. Oh, look. We have some tape. This is the last time I'm taping my nipples for a video, by the way. Okay, I'm coming out. You ready? Bye, bye, boo. Okay, you know what? This looks great on you. Thank you. You look awesome. This is a complete outfit. This is very cute, actually. Very cute, but I think you can see my 
<laughs> well, luckily, we'll be wearing this under clothes. something else. Like, because we'll be wearing it under clothes. It is a bra. Yeah. It's not, you know, it is meant to be worn under clothes. Yeah. It looks so good on you, I'm like, <laughs> kind of mad. The material's great. I feel very comforted by it. It reminds me of just like, I don't know why it reminds me of grandma. This is a look. Like you can wear this to like an event, you know, with a bra underneath. Yeah. This is very cute and it looks great with this skirt. Yeah, it's actually, I, I really like it. Yeah. It's really, really cute. I think if you walked out in the street in 1914 like this, people would be like, <gasps> Call it. Call your mother. <laughs> Jezebel. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Covers children's eyes, shuffles away. <laughs> Bullet bra, aka torpedo bra, is coming on right now, yeah. I can tell you this right now, that these cones are not gonna stand up on their own, so I'm gonna have to stuff this bra. I feel like I could fit a half a cup of Greek yogurt in between my boob and the end of the cone. My pointy tits. Look at how pointy it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm having actually a little bit of trouble. Do you need, do you need help? E yeah, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> I love it, you're just like, ugh. People actually be like, wow, that's the way that boobs are actually shaped. Yeah, you're basically packing your peanuts. <laughs> that did not come out right. <laughs> no wonder no one had invented the internet yet. They were busy stuffing their tits with shit. Uh, oh shit, and then I fucked wait. it. Nope, nope, I didn't, I didn't fuck it up. I think you should just come out. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it, it's a look. The quilting pattern is just like two little bullseyes. There's like nowhere else to look, but you here. You are hitting both targets. It's amazing that like there's no underwire here. Yeah. This is all quilting. Secretary, here I come. Phone call on line three. So how does it feel? It feels pointy. Uh -huh. It definitely feels like lumpy. Mm -hmm. Like it's like, you'd have to stuff these. Yeah. I feel like this needs just like a tad bit more tissue under here, but aside from that, I think you did a great job. Okay, so we're gonna try all of these bras for a day and see how we like them. Shimmy's out of frame. Let's do it! Okay, so it is day one. We are going to be wearing our Greco-Roman sashes. But first we need to put them on. Yep. And that's where our troubles begin! <laughs> this is like having the world's longest piece of toilet paper stuck to your whole body. You're just coming out of the bathroom and it's like, do I have any toilet paper stuck to my shoe? And everyone's like, yes. yes. Do you feel supported-ish? Well, we have lots to go. <laughs> so there's still time. There is time. I'm ready to go look at some antiquities. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm just gonna go back to my desk. Feeling flat, feeling floppy. I'm feeling both. I feel like with every step, it just keeps making its way down my torso. And every step, it keeps making its way downtown. Yep. Today we're wearing Greco-Roman bras. It's like a mummy. This is the whole cheeseburger. You've mummified your boobs. I know, they're very scary. I don't know, that doesn't seem like it would offer much support. Also itchy. Yeah, I'm not really tightly bound and I'm also not bound to this experience, so I'm excited for this day to be over. <laughs> Like from far away, you're just like, that's a lot of yeah. fabric. But up close, you're like, wait, is that like the, what you wrap around you your ankle? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, you said that like, kind of look to it. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, is, are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? Love fashion that makes people wonder if we've hurt ourselves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the day, Fred. End of day one with the Greco Roman bra. It's a Greco Nomen bra. <laughs> Kristen, you okay down there? I'm still trying to take this thing off. So we are wearing the 1914 bra today. We sure are. You know, I mean, it's soaking up the sweat. Of all the boobs, <laughs> problems I could have, we can scratch swap boobs right off the list. Ding! Yep, the other problems still remain. I feel that, I mean also, I'm really into the way the back looks, kind yeah. of the way that I styled it with my overalls, the back kind of dips really low and oh, looks yeah. very summery. I didn't really think that hard before I put this dress on. I, I guess necklines were probably much higher in 1914 than they are now. Whoops! It looks like an apron. What do you think of my super cool bra? Where is it? Is it visible? It's this. Oh, that's cool. It kind of looks like a tank top. It is the first patented bra ever. I like sh bras that feel like shirts because I don't. I feel like comfort is so important. Does it actually support you? Uh, no. Oh, oh no. Then, no. Not all right, then fuck this bra. It's dumb. <laughs> I feel like you look like a chill California person. Like this is something you'd wear with any sort of 
culottes or anything. It's weird that 1914 bra is 2017 LA. <laughs> it does look a little old fashioned. It protrudes out of your dress. Yeah, the thing is, is that I didn't realize that necklines were much higher. <laughs> I mean, I did realize it, but I didn't care when I was getting dressed, and then I was like, oh. <laughs> One part that reveals that it's not part of your dress is that the straps are different. The thing about fashion is that you can never have too many straps. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this 1914 bra, especially in the heat, because there's no swamp boobs. No swamp boobs. All right, it's the end of the day. Not bad. You know, I don't need to take it off. I mean, I'm gonna, because like, no clothes is the best clothes, but. Yeah. Okay. So I'm wearing the 1940s and 50s bullet bra today. I've been dreading it. I've been trying to put it off for as long as possible. And it looks like okay until you turn to the side. They look kind of good, but like they are out there. It turns out none of the clothes I own actually have enough boob space for the cone bra. Sort of had to just find something that was stretchy. Turns out, when they sell clothes today, they're supposed to actually fit your boobs. Hey, Madonna. Hello. What's <laughs> happening? You know. I was, I was cruising up, I was like, oh, look at this outfit, and then you turn. <laughs> so people wore this? Yeah. Like daily? Yeah. From the side, you just look extra perky, but then when you turn, it's like. <laughs> Pokes in eye. Pokes in eye. <laughs> I'm feeling so self-conscious. I'm like taking back entrances and exits to get places so people don't have to look at me in these. Ah. And of course I have to run an errand during lunch. I can't stay inside. It's fine. I'm just in the pharmacy. I think it's fine. I don't think anyone really gives a shit. <laughs> stupid tits. Wait, what did, I hear? did I hear you say stupid tits? What's yes. What are they, you doing? They're like, look at them. You digging for gold down here? Whoa. <laughs> It's boob Jenga. This is Obama's outfit, and then you like turn to the side, <laughs> and it like suddenly became like a cartoon character. Uh huh. Who knew pointy boobs meant Power Woman? But they do. They do. You've just said a statement, Fred. It's comfortable to wear, but like if I were to run into something, it would be like a collision. This bra is like the official bra of tree murder. This bra is brought to you by Charmin. You know what? I noticed it. But I like, I didn't want to like point out like, whoa, your boobs are really pretty today. I'm very respectful, Freddie. Uh huh. You know, mm -hmm. we're friends. Mm -hmm. But no, don't do that. <laughs> oh my God, it's sharp. Oh my God. This is the bullet bra. This is like the cool bra. Why is it so sharp? It's so people won't forget where the nipples are. You know what's funny? When you're in high school and you like have to give a presentation in front of a bunch of people, my worst fear was to always have like nips that people could see. And here we are. And the rest of you is just a life snack. <laughs> I've been self-conscious most of the day, but then depending on what reactions I get from people, I'm like, oh, it looks good. It's cute. It goes, it's a vibe. It's Mad Men, you know? I think the bra would serve better on its own, kind of as a look, as opposed to being an actual bra that you wear under clothes. Because I think this way is just, yikes! We tried bras from history. The first day was the Greco-Roman piece of fabric that just kept going. That was not a bra. <laughs> that was a dish towel that got out of control. It definitely was reminiscent of like a piece of toilet paper that yeah. just keeps going and going. Because I don't have much, it was very easy for it to slide down throughout the day. I didn't think of that. What ended up happening with me is that the bottom layer stayed, but layers two through five <laughs> slowly crept down my nips. So the Greco-Roman bra was definitely the most difficult to get on. Even though we had help, it was still a struggle. Honestly, I think we needed three people. Yeah, we've done a lot of day tries. This Greco-Roman bra took more explaining than any other try that we've done. So what letter grade would you give the Greco-Roman bra? When the Greco-Roman bra is properly tied, I would give it a C plus. What would you give it when it's not properly tied? <laughs> a D minus. Okay. I would say a B minus. Okay. A B minus for me. So the second bra we tried was the first patented bra. It was a 90s handkerchief. Yeah, it's like it's a kerchief top. Yeah. I felt like I was just gallivanting around with an apron underneath my overalls, but it was an apron that just went to the, I mean, to you the were, belly button. You were cooking something. I mean, I was, because with the amount of under boob sweat I had, I was cooking something. It gave zero support 
But, I mean, I did feel like a free bird. You look cute. Thank you. You look cute on you. Honestly, I was like, you just wear this as a top. Yeah. Just, and you, you was, did. Yeah, that was the vibe. It was that really I cute. I was not supportive at all. It was weirdly hot. It's basically a bralette. A B plus. Even though it didn't give the support that I needed, I felt very comfortable in it and I don't know, it was a cute vibe. I definitely gave that bra C minus. Okay. Mm -hmm. C minus. That's fair. All of those points are for aesthetics, so you're getting by <laughs> on looks, baby. Okay, so the last bra we tried was the 1940s bullet bra. The thing is, is in the bigger the boob is, the more you have to stuff. Because the more you have to put in there to get that cone. We probably could have stuffed our bullet bra with the Greco Roman fabric. Probably. That would have been more effective. <laughs> yeah. Every time I would lean over, like sometimes toilet paper would fall out. <laughs> I was so self conscious when I first walked out of the bathroom into the general office area. And granted, these are my co workers that I'm friends with, that I'm close with. They always see me trying on wacky things, but I was really insecure. Yeah, same. I kept hitting people with mine. <laughs> Once you get a bullet bra that size, you kind of have to worry a lot about like the structural integrity of the tip. Yes. So like I kept having to like restuff the tip. Yeah. Cause then like if you don't make sure it's pointy, you have one that's like here, one that's like there. <laughs> people were like, oh you look cute because they liked the pencil skirt outfit and then I would turn to the side and they'd be like, whoa! Oh, 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 it is interesting that back in the day those were emphasized. Like I think like pointed bullet bras were meant to be like Isn't nipples. Crazy? Yeah. Yeah, and then like then it became like taboo and like it's just interesting how much of a cycle everything is. That is wild. A B minus. I would also give it a B minus. Yeah, because I thought it was cute. Yeah, okay, it's it was not, cute. It's not practical, but it's really cute. Yeah. I learned that bra technology has come so far. Like we complain a lot about bras, but like it used to be way worse. Oh yeah. Way worse. I have respect for our foremothers. I have respect for everyone who helped to evolve the bra into being something that made more and more sense with support and comfort. Can you imagine like a person who like made like a really uncomfortable bra is just being visited by like the ghost of boobs past? Yes. <laughs> On one magical night, in the morning, you will evolve, become a person who actually makes a bra people like. Learn from the past, Ebenezer boob. Historical bras, lady tested. Ladies have come a long, long way. way. Long way. Long way. I feel more energetic now. Like maybe that boob shape brings us more energy. I feel a little pep in my step. Your boobs look erect. <laughs> it looks like it's a little caffeine push for me.